Hey everybody, what's going on with this crazy market? Well, that's what everybody wants to know and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So stick around for our Monday market update. Hey everybody, it's Brad Cox from Investing with the Plum and Foster. So today on our Monday market update, we're gonna talk a little bit about what's going on in this really crazy market. And we're gonna do that by looking at some five-year averages for the Baltimore metro area and what's happening in relation now to those five-year averages. Then we're gonna go in county by county and take a look at what the months of supply are. And then we're gonna laser focus on what's happened in the last seven days so that you have the most recent data available. If we look at December of 2020, in relation to what we normally see over a five-year average in December, the five-year average closed sales is 3,170 homes. In December of 2020, we had 4,046. If we look at what's going on under contract, the five-year average is 2,746 homes. If you look at December of 2020, we had 3,227. So closed sales and pendings are way up. Now let's look at active listings. Five-year average for Baltimore Metro in the month of December, we'd normally see about 7,545 homes listed for sale. December 2020, we have 3,569. It's not even 50% of what we would normally see. Now let's look at months of supply in the Baltimore metro area. The five-year average is normally about 2.3 months of supply. And when we talk about months of supply, we're talking about whether it's a market that's balanced, or whether it favors the seller or the buyer. And if you have a higher number over six, then it might favor the buyer. And if you have a lower number, that means supply is lower and that would favor the seller. So normally over the past five years, we've been somewhat favoring the seller and we've been about 2.3 months of supply. Right now, December, 2020, one month of supply. So to the point that I made earlier, We've been selling through all of that existing inventory and we have very little replacing it. So let's break that down county by county into the months of supply so you can see where things are because that was Baltimore Metro as a whole. Anne Arundel County, 0 0.8 months of supply. Baltimore County, 0 0.8. Carroll County, 0 0.6. Harford County, 0 0.7. Howard County, 0 0.7. Baltimore City, is slightly more balanced at 1.8, but as you can see, we're favoring the seller in all of those markets. So now let's look at what's happened over the last seven days to give you much more recent data than December. We've had 208 properties come on as coming soon. Active, we had 601 properties come on, and then we had 166 go back to active. So for a total of 867 properties that, that went active, we've had over a thousand, 1,070 go under contract. So again, 867 going active, 1,070 going under contract. So we're selling through that existing inventory and that's why those months of supply are so low. So what's driving all this activity? Well, it's the historically low interest rates. We're below 3%, 2.875 was what my most recent buyer got. And some rates are even lower than that. And when rates are that low, buyers tend to come out of the woodwork and the sellers just haven't kept up and the home builders haven't kept up with building. We have less inventory and we have great buyer demand. So what happens with supply and demand when you have high demand and low supply, prices go up and that's what we've been seeing. So what's my advice for those who are looking to buy or sell in this market? Well, I'd say if you're a seller, it's a great time for you especially if you're a move-up buyer. We have more inventory in that category. So if you're a move-up buyer and you're looking for something north of 750, there is much more inventory at that price point than there is at the lower price points. So you can do well selling your home where there's high demand and then have more negotiating power on the upper end. If you're a buyer, I'd advise jumping into the market sooner rather than later. It's not a matter of the interest rates. I think they're low now and they're probably going to stay low throughout much of this year. What I'm worried about is the housing price appreciation. As we were talking about before, because the demand is so high and the inventory is so low, 
prices are increasing. So that $250,000 home that you can look at right now might be $265,000, $275,000 by the end of the year. And that's a significant amount of, of appreciation. So think about what you want to accomplish and talk to us if you have any questions. By the way, if you want to get that fairly recent market activity, hop on over to our website, homesbyvesta.com. Just click on the market statistics link and that will take you to our page that displays every county's market statistics for the most recent month that we have available. And if you wanna know what those stats mean for your home in your neighborhood or in an area where you're looking to purchase, give us a call and we'll be happy to discuss the details with you. We wanna keep you informed so that you can make the best decision for you and your family. Thanks for watching, talk to you soon.